Now, sometimes part of your ethical hacking is to hide files in the compromised system. And there are two ways, two basic approaches to do it. So let's take a look. One is something called alternate data streams. It's also known as NTFS streams or ADS. It's a feature of NTFS. Microsoft included it so that NTFS, which is the file system of, of Microsoft machines, could be compatible with Macintoshes. Because once upon a time, there was such a thing as file and print services for Mac that you could run on Windows Server. Um, the way it works is this. You've got a file. The file has a header with descriptive information called metadata. And then you've got just the normal data in the file, what we call the normal stream or the stream. And then you've got something attached to it called the alternate data stream. And uh, it's something that Macintosh, the old Mac file systems used. And so NT had that to support that. So NT or, or Windows systems have two basic file systems. I mean, there are more, but, but just the basic ones. There's FAT, file allocation table, and NTFS the new technology file system. In FAT, you just have the data and its header. And so the file is whatever dot its extension, like reports.xlsx, or uh, letter.doc, or whatever the file is. And it has the header with the attributes. And the attributes are like when it was created, how big is it, what type of file is it, who's the author, that sort of thing. That's the metadata. And then it has the data. Simple, fat file system. In NTFS, you've got whatever the file is, or, you know, report.doc, um, or uh, something.xlsx, or something.ppt, or, or whatever it is, or something.pdf. And when it's stored on an NT file system on your hard drive, removable drive, yes, it has the header with the attributes. Yes, it has the main stream, which is the main data, but it can also have hidden associated alternate data called an alternate stream. Now, ordinarily, we don't use this, and we don't care about this, and we don't know about it. But these things, this capability still exists. So, so long as the file stays in an NTFS volume, which is all remove all media, you know, all removable media, well, not DVDs or CDs, but all um, thumb drives, hard drives, internal, external, not, not attachments, not the files themselves, but when they are on some kind of storage device with a file system, the default is NTFS. And you have the capability to abuse this, although most people know nothing about it. So here's an example. You could hide a Trojan in a text file. You could just say, and I've got two examples here. So here's a simple example. I use the Notepad program, which is a very simple text editor. I say Notepad, which launches Notepad, sample.txt. This creates a text file called sample. And then here's the secret, the colon. Here's the main file. Here's the alternate stream. So the main, so the main file with the main data and an alternate stream is secret.txt. When you do a DIR or you search around in Windows Explorer, you will not see secret.txt. You will only see sample.txt. And yet we've created it using Notepad. So here in sample.txt is just right, whatever text. Secret.txt is the text that you want to hide. OK. Here's another thing we could do. We could, in a DOS prompt, say type. We could create an executable called Trojan. Call it anything you like. And what we're doing is we're actually hiding the Trojan inside of a text file called readme.txt. Can you imagine? And then we're creating a link to it, which is basically a shortcut in, in Windows. We're calling the link backdoor exe. And so that link points to the secret stream, the Trojan, that's hidden inside the readme text file. Then you just simply say backdoor or backdoor exe, and it goes straight to the Trojan and launches it. So how on earth do we defend against NTFS streams? Well, <laughs> if you think that a file has been infected with, well, infected, is using 
a, uh, an alternate data stream, copy it to a FAT partition because the alternate data stream cannot go along. Or email it as an attachment. Or put it in something that is, or send it across the network as an upload. Because the uh, alternate data stream has to be on NTFS. It will get left behind. It will be disassociated from the main file and get left behind as trash. So you could do that. You can also use file integrity checkers like Tripwire or MD5SUM to verify the file hasn't changed. But again, if you're going to use an, in an integrity checker, something that creates hashes, that means you know what the original hash was before. Chances are you don't have that. However, maybe you do. Maybe you downloaded something and the download site provided the MD5 sum hash, which is going to be the same every time if you have not changed that thing in any way, shape, or form. There are also various tools that will look for alternate data streams. Here's a whole list of them. Event Sentry, ADS List, Stream Detector, ADS Detector, Stream Armor, Forensic Toolkit, ADS Spy Manager Scanner, and that's only a partial list. If we zoom in, here is an example of Stream Armor, Scan and Clean Malicious Streams, and it has found loads of streams here. So let's go on to another topic that's really fascinating.